METOP is a series of three polar orbiting meteorological satellites developed by the European Space Agency and operated by the European Organisation for the Exploitation of Meteorological Satellites the satellites form the space segment component of the overall EUMETSAT Polar System EPS, which in turn is the European half of the EUMETSAT NOAA Initial Joint Polar System IJPS. The satellites carry a payload comprising 11 scientific instruments and 2 which support search and rescue services. In order to provide data continuity between METOP and NOAA Polar Operational Satellites POES, several instruments are carried on both fleets of satellites. METOP A, launched on October 19, 2006, is Europe's first polar orbiting satellite used for operational meteorology. With respect to its primary mission of providing data for numerical weather prediction, studies have shown that METOP-A data are measured as having the largest impact of any individual satellite platform on reducing 24-hour forecasting errors, and accounts for about 25% of the total impact on global forecast error reduction across all data sources. Each of the three satellites were originally intended to be operated sequentially, however good performance of the METOP-A and METOP-B satellites mean a period of three satellite operations are now expected. In 2022 a second generation of METOP satellites will be deployed, called METOP-SG. Background METOP has been developed as a joint undertaking between the European Space Agency and European Organisation for the Exploitation of Meteorological Satellites Recognizing the growing importance of numerical weather prediction in weather forecasting, METOP was designed with a suite of instruments to provide NWP models with high-resolution global atmospheric temperature and humidity structure. Data from METOP are additionally used for atmospheric chemistry and provision of long-term data sets for climate records. METOP Heritage The METOP satellites have a modular construction, comprising a service module, a payload module and a suite of instruments. A spot heritage service module provides power via solar array and five batteries for eclipse, attitude and orbit control, thermal regulation and tracking, telemetry and command TT and C. An Envisat Heritage Payload Module provides common command and control and power buses for the instruments along with science data acquisition and transmission. The suite of instruments are largely derived from precursors flown on the European Space Agency's European Remote Sensing Satellite ERS, Envisat satellites or a fully recurrent units originally developed for NOAA's Television Infrared Observation Satellite TIROS, series of polar orbiting satellites. Data acquisition With the exception of search and rescue, which is a purely local mission with its own dedicated transmitter, all data from the METOP instruments are formatted and multiplexed by the payload module and either stored on a solid-state recorder for later transmission via an X-band antenna, or directly transmitted to local users via high-rate picture transmission VHF antenna. The main command and data acquisition CDA head is located at Svalbard Satellite Station in Norway. The high latitude of this station allows the global data stored in the solid state recorder of each satellite to be dumped via X band once per orbit. Each METOP satellite produces approximately 2 GB of raw data per orbit. 
Additionally, in order to improve timeliness of products, one of the operational satellites dumps the data from the descending part of the orbit over the McMurdo ground station in Antarctica. Data are then trickle-fed from the ground stations to EUMETSAT headquarters in Darmstadt, Germany, where they are processed, stored and disseminated to various agencies and organizations with a latency of approximately two hours without the McMurdo ground station and one hour with Svalbard. HRPT is used to provide a real-time direct readout local mission via a network of receivers on ground provided by cooperating organizations. Data from these stations is also transmitted to EUMETSAT and redistributed to provide a regional service with approximately 30 minutes latency. Due to radiation sensitivity of the HRPT hardware, the METOP AHRPT does not operate over the polar regions or South Atlantic anomaly. Topic command and control Command and control of METOP is performed from the EPS control room at EUMETSAT headquarters in Darmstadt, Germany. The control center is connected to the CDA in Svalbard which is used for S-band ranging and Doppler measurements for orbit determination, acquisition of real-time housekeeping telemetry and uplink of telecommands. The CDA at Svalbard, located at approximately 78 degrees north, provides TT and C coverage on each orbit. Commands for routine operations are generally uplinked at each CDA contact, approximately 36 hours in advance of onboard execution. Orbit determination can also be performed using data from the GNSS receiver for atmospheric sounding instrument. An independent backup control center is also located at Instituto Nacional de Tecnica Aerospatial, near Madrid, Spain. Topic: Mission profile. The METOP and NOAA satellites both carry a common set of core instruments. In addition, METOP carries a set of new European instruments, which measure atmospheric temperature and humidity with unprecedented accuracy, along with profiles of atmospheric ozone and other trace gases. Wind speed and direction over the oceans will also be measured. It is expected that these new instruments will herald a significant contribution to the ever-growing need for fast and accurate global data to improve numerical weather prediction. This in turn will lead to more reliable weather forecasts and, in the longer term, help with monitoring changing climates more accurately. In addition to its meteorological users, it will provide imagery of land and ocean surfaces as well as search and rescue equipment to aid ships and aircraft in distress. A data relay system is also on board, linking up to buoys and other data collection devices. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Launch and deployment. METOP A, the first ever European polar orbiting meteorological satellite, was successfully launched on the 19th of October 2006 from Baikonur Cosmodrome, Kazakhstan, using a Soyuz Street Fregat launcher. After six attempts, at just over 4,000 kilograms and measuring 17.6 times 6.5 times 5.2 meters when in orbit, METOP is Europe's second largest Earth observation satellite. After Envisat, which was launched in 2002, the first signal from the satellite was received at 18:35 BST on the 20th of October 2006, and it was confirmed that the satellite was in its nominally correct orbit with the solar panel deployed. Control of the satellite was with the European Space Operations Centre 
part of ESA which had the responsibility of achieving the final positioning of the satellite, deployment of all the antennas and final reconfiguration of the satellite following necessary orbit control maneuvers. The satellite was handed over to EUMETSAT operations on the 22nd of October 2006. The first image was received at 0800 UTC on the 25th of October, a visible light image of Scandinavia and Eastern Europe. But there was a 6-month period of verification and calibration of the satellite and its instrument payload before it was declared operational. Before that point, the Met Office received data and started to test and then use it as input to the operational numerical weather prediction runs. METOP-A was declared fully operational in mid-May 2007 and the full data of its 11 scientific instruments are available to its users on operational basis METOP-B was declared fully operational and pronounced to replace METOP-A as EUMETSAT's prime operational LEO weather satellite. In April 2013, METOP C was scheduled for launch towards the end of 2016, which was postponed until 2017 and was launched successfully on 7 November 2018. Due to the longer than expected in orbit performance of METOP A and METOP B, it is planned for all three METOP spacecraft to be flying simultaneously. Topic: Instruments. The following instruments are flown on board the METOP satellites. Topic: Shared instruments. The following instruments are shared on the NPOES satellites, which form the U.S. contribution to IJPS. AMSU A1, AMSU A2 advanced microwave sounding units, HIRS, 4 high resolution infrared radiation sounder, NB. Not included on METOP C. AVHRR, 3 advanced very high resolution radiometer, ADCS, advanced data collection system, SEM 2 space environment monitor. SARP-3 Search and Rescue Processor NB. Not included on METOP-C SARR – Search and Rescue Repeater NB. Not included on METOP-C MHS – Microwave Humidity Sounder <laughs> METOP-specific instruments The following instruments are flown exclusively on the METOP satellites IASI – Infrared Atmospheric Sounding Interferometer GRA – Global Navigation Satellite System Receiver for Atmospheric Sounding ASCAT – Advanced Scatterometer GOME2 – Global Ozone Monitoring Experiment 2 Topic GOME2. The first atmospheric contributions by METOP A were made by the Global Ozone Monitoring Experiment 2 GOME2, a scanning spectrometer on board the satellite. GOME2, designed by DLR, the German Aerospace Center, and developed by Celex Galileo as the successor of ERS-2's GOME 1995, provided coverage of most areas of planet Earth measuring the atmospheric ozone, the distribution of surface ultraviolet radiation, and the amount of nitrogen dioxide NO2. The GOME-2 instrument provides a second source of ozone observations that supplement data from the SBUV, two ozone instruments on the NOAA-18 and NOAA-19 satellites, which are part of the IJPS.
Topic: Infrared Atmospheric Sounding Interferometer (IASI). One of the most important instruments carried on board METOP is the Infrared Atmospheric Sounding Interferometer, the most accurate infrared sounding interferometer currently in orbit. IASI observes the atmosphere in the infrared 3.7 to 15.5 micrometers in 8461 channels, allowing to measure the atmosphere temperature within 1 degree Celsius and relative humidity within 10% for each slice of 1 kilometer height. Earth surface is revisited twice a day. IASI by itself produces half of all METOP data. The METOP constellation METOPs A and B were launched respectively on 19 October 2006 and 17 September 2012 from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, with METOP C launched on 7 November 2018 from the Guiana Space Center. It was originally planned that subsequent METOP satellites will be launched at approximately five year intervals, each having a planned operational life of five years as such there would just be one operational satellite at a time. However, based on the good performance of both the METOP A and B satellites, EUMETSAT Council agreed to extend the EPS program until at least 2027. Moreover, it is currently foreseen to operate METOP A until the end of 2021, with similar extensions for METOPs B and C as of 2016. Almost all remaining fuel on board METOP A is budgeted for end of life disposal operations required to put METOP A in an orbit which will decay and cause re entry within 25 years in accordance with ISO 24113 space debris mitigation guidelines. The vast majority of fuel consumption during the operations phase is needed to compensate for inclination drift and maintain a sun-synchronous orbit with a mean mean local solar time of ascending node of 9.30, and it is estimated that the platform can survive for at least five years with a drifting LTAN. These end-of-life disposal operations were initially unplanned, but are deemed necessary after the Iridium Cosmos collision and Fengyun-1C anti-satellite test have significantly worsened the space debris situation in low Earth orbit. Prior to the launch of METOPS-C, METOPS A and B were operated in a co-planar orbit approximately half an orbit apart. With the launch of METOP C, the three METOP satellites will initially share the same orbit separated by approximately a third of an orbit, albeit with METOP A drifting in LTAN. METOP B and C High Rate Picture Transmission will be transmitting real time data active over all geographic zones due to upgraded hardware, while METOP A HRPT will continue to be switched off over high risk radiation zones. The successor to the METOP satellites will be METOP SG, currently with the first METOP SGA satellite expected to be deployed in 2021. 